Hello everyone, this is John, and welcome back to another food review with me. Today, as you can see, I have a bowl of noodles in front of me. Something that I've done before, if you haven't noticed. These are what we like to call ramen noodles, or as they call them in Korea, where is this from? Ramyun noodles. Actually, let me take that back, because ramen and ramyun both mean noodles, so saying ramen noodles is actually repetitive. Anyway, what we're doing today is another Samyang, but this is not just Samyang. So you see, uh, I believe his name is Mo Moki or Mochi or something like that, the chicken for Samyang Bulldog, but then you also see this frog here, and that frog is actually from a company called Jinro, is how I'm going to choose to pronounce it in this video, so if you that's not incorrect, be prepared to hear me say that that way the rest of this video. This is a cross collaboration between the alcohol company Jinro and the noodles company Samyang. And this is what I found out to be just the kimchi flavored uh, bulldog pokemon uh, from Samyang. There is actually no difference I looked at the uh, ingredients here in the back, I had to translate them, but what was the real damning evidence is when you open the package and you get the little flavor packs out of here, this is the same pack from their kimchi, look it just says kimchi on it. So this is the flavor pack from their kimchi noodles, the only other thing in here this was the dried kimchi, and it has the same th same thing. It says kimchi. So basically, they just repackaged the Samyang kimchi noodles, and they put uh, the Jinro emblem on it. Now, finding that out was kind of disappointing, so what I actually did was went out and got myself a bottle, of Jinro Soju. Soju is a distilled beverage that um, usually and traditionally it's made with rice but in recent history it has been potatoes and wheat and other grains. You can do that because Soju is just a distilled liquid. Um, when you distill something as much as that, you're not going to get a really strong flavor of whatever grain it came from. Like uh, vodka, you can use rice to make vodka, you can use potatoes to make vodka, you can use wheat to make vodka. Um, this one is Jinro 24, as you can see there. And that's to say that it is actually 24% alcohol by volume and that's actually higher than their typical one and they're also uh, established 1924 so I think that's why they made this special edition that had that in it it also says neutral spirits with sugar and citric acid in it you can see right there sugar and citric acid um, soju sometimes add with yogurt or fruit to give it a different flavor this one doesn't have any extra flavors. It's just a unflavored distilled liquor, and it apparently contains sugar and citric acid. We'll see how that gives it any type of flavor. When I smell it, it smells like vodka. It just smells like a, a distilled white clear liquor. And actually, Jinro, and it says right here on the bottle, let me show it to you again. It's the world's number one selling spirits brand. And that's true. I looked it up. The average drinking age South Korean drinks almost 14 shots of liquor per week. That is the most of any country that has this data. Uh, second place is Russia, and they're around six. And I think the United States and the UK, they're just above three. And 
by shots, it's not saying like people take that many shots. It's just how much. Uh, it's a way that they count alcohol, um, liquor wise. This is not counting uh, wine or beer. It's just shots per week of alcohol, and that sounds like a lot. But shoju is relatively low alcohol content when compared to other liquors. Uh, like I said, this was 24. It's actually um, not their typical one. They're usually around like a, a 15%, I want to say. And because of that, certain states in the United States have actually had laws that either were created for or just don't affect it because of its content. So if you have a restaurant that has a alcohol license to sell wine and beer, you could sell this, even though it's technically a distilled liquor. Um, I forget the states off the top of my head, but believe California is one of them. So if you have, if you don't have a liquor license to sell hard liquor, but you do have a license to sell beer and wine, you can still sell soju. Um, it is not a rice wine. It's not like sake. It is a distilled liquor. Um, that's why it's going to be a very clear liquid. liquid. It's going to have no flavor really of its own. Um, that's why it, it's either drinking neat, as they say, or uh, sometimes there's co uh, cocktails that can go with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little sip of this. Like I said, it smells just like regular green alcohol. It tastes like green alcohol, but it's a little it's smoother. It's kind of like if you water down um, some vodka, just so it's like it's really palatable. Um, it's not harsh. You could probably take the whole shot and not cough at all. But let's go ahead and see if having some of the Jinra Jinro soju with my Bulldog kimchi ramen will actually make it uh, taste any better. Maybe if I get down to a little bit, I'll actually add some to my bowl. But uh, that's what it looks like. This is just the kimchi ramen from Samyang. There's no other differences besides packaging. This, uh, according to what I looked up online, it's supposed to be around 4,000 Scoville heat units. Uh, that came from a different blogger and not from someone from Samyang, so take that for what it's worth. didn't have any specifics or where he got that information from. This is made just the same way normal uh, Samyang bulldog is. You boil the noodles, you remove most of the water, but not all. Um, and uh, this one actually has like little dried kimchi flakes which was boiled with the noodles then you add the sauce to it after you drain most of the water out stir fry it to get this consistency here we go definitely spicy Is it 4,000? I don't know. It doesn't really taste like 4,000 to me. But sometimes you don't know until you eat much more how much spice you've actually consumed. <laughs> One thing it does say on the back of the bottle of the Jinro right here I'm going to read it to you small letters so um, it complements perfectly with spicy flavors and barbecue meats of Korean cuisine well this is definitely a spicy chicken flavor Korean cuisine So it should pair well. Let's have some while we're eating.
It also says it serves as a base of traditional cocktails like apple martinis, cosmopolitan, bloody marys, and mojito. I don't know if an apple martini is a traditional cocktail. Just say martini. I don't think this is four thousand. I think this is more like two thousand. But again, maybe I'll eat more and it'll get spicier. But it definitely, that definitely has happened to me in some of these reviews. I'll eat a few bites. I'll give you a, a very initial reaction. And then the video will end, and I'll either finish the bowl later, or just sitting there, I'll be like, wow, that got a lot hotter than I suspected it. But so far, this one, it's got good spice. I don't think it's 4,000. The little pieces of kimchi in here, they're fine. I think the uh, the main thing to take away with this video is that you can you can spare yourself by trying to find this specific packaging. And if you want to just taste what this tastes like, just get the Samyang Bulldog Kimchi flavor, which I think is way more uh, easy to find than this packaging. This is just in South Korea. But the kimchi one you can find in the States very easily. Um, what do I think of soju? I've had soju before. Typically I like the flavored ones. Um, it's because like the flavors of those are usually pretty good. I've had the, the ones that are like yogurty. I've had ones that have like a berry flavor to them. Those are both very good, in my opinion. Now, I know they said that you, they pair, but I'm just going to try a little bit of this. This may work, this may not. This may be a complete disaster. I'm going to put some in. You know what you're saying? You just dump alcohol into your food and eat it like that. You gotta cook it so it cooks out the alcohol and you left with the flavor. Well, you do that. We're just gonna try it like this. It's not bad actually. Now, I'm gonna change for my chopsticks for my fork just because we're down to some smaller bits and you like that sound by the way is it annoying or do you like it let me finish this go. Finish the bowl. There's the Samyang Cross Jingro Kimchi Bulldog Pokemon Noodles. Alright. So if you're if you're like me and you like really are obsessed with when another Samyang comes out with a new noodle. Just let me put you at ease. If you ever, 
if you don't get a chance to try this, you are not missing something new. I have my uh, suspicions about the new um, cream carbo ones that are coming out. I have one coming, and uh, my fear is it's just going to be the regular carbo one, like package and all. They suggest you serve this ice cold, so I had it in the freezer for a while. What's a, it's really good for spicy things because it cools down a lot of what's going on in my mouth right now. <sighs> trying to think if there's anything I need to add to this before I end the video. You know, usually, <sighs> yeah, that that that's what needed to be added to the video. Um, usually, when I eat spicy food, it, it tends to, like, make my uh, thoughts jumbled, so it's hard for me to think of the words that I need to say. Um, just like typical, the last bits at the very end are more concentrated, so more spicy. I would still say... The, when you when you make this, it's going to still be around a 2,000. Um, just because that last bite was spicy doesn't mean the whole thing was necessarily the same spice level. When you mix it and add the amount of water that it says to. Um, I guess that's it. You can avoid trying to look for this. It tastes fine. It tastes just like the kimchi one. This was pretty easy to find. I found another Binnie's. Um, when I added it to it, it definitely gave it like a little bit of an alcohol flavor to it. It definitely made it a little bit looser. But, uh... I can feel a teal, tear, tear, building my eye there, but I don't want to touch it with my finger. Anyway, let's end this. Let's end this video now. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. All the good things that you typically do. Um, we'll see you next time. Hopefully at a better uh, ramen review than this one. Because it's actually something new. See you later. Bye.